Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the CompTIA Network Plus versus the CCNA certification. I'm going to be comparing these two certifications in four different categories. We're going to be going over price, recognition, difficulty, and an overview of these two exams, which one might be better for you in your career path, and the differences between these two and why you may want to choose one over the other. Before I go ahead and jump into the overview of these certifications, uh, I have a Discord server down below if you guys are have any questions for me or if you guys are studying for a certification and you guys want some advice. I'm trying to create a community of people who are pursuing certifications, the IT field, any field in IT, just to get different uh, opinions and different people. So join the Discord down below if you guys are interested, and let's get into it. So the CCNA exam, the Cisco Certified Network Associate exam, this exam will go over the Cisco, Cisco proprietary information, along with that vendor neutral networking concepts. It'll go into the basics of networking, then jump into some uh, network configurations and how to actually configure Cisco equipment, doing hands-on labs with Packet Tracer, things like that. The Network Plus exam is going to be a vendor neutral certification. So this certification will go over the basic uh, topics of networking, basic networking protocols, but vendor neutral networking protocols. CompTIA advises that you take the A plus before you take this exam. That is a very soft requirement. Obviously, you don't have to actually do that. Um, the CCNA advises you nowadays to take the CCST networking exam before taking the CCNA. Now that the, that exam has come out, I've seen some people do that, but that is not a requirement. That is just a recommendation. In the CCNA exam, you'll be doing more hands-on work and uh, actual configurations. The exam actually expects you to be able to configure networking equipment. The Network Plus doesn't have you configure any networking equipment. It just goes over the network, network uh, topics, um, and it has you do performance-based questions, which isn't directly configurations, but it'll give you a topology and say, hey, uh, in this scenario, what should you do? And you have multiple choice uh, answer to that performance based question. So as far as price goes, the network, the network plus and CCNA are relatively similar priced unless you are a student. Um, the network plus is going to be $370 for, uh, the voucher. If you have the student discount, which means you have like a student email or maybe a work email would work, something like that. It would be $178. So cutting that price almost in half, um, if you're a student, so that might be a big, um, I guess difference between the CCNA and Network Plus. If you're trying to save money, Network Plus might be the way to go for your first uh, networking certification. The CCNA is going to be $300. There are going to be some discounts that you can get along the way. I know if you get certain scores on the Networking Academy exams, you might be able to get like a 20% discount. I'm not 100% too sure about that, but you guys can do your own research. But I would just say generally the CCNA is going to cost you around $300. Now, as far as actually studying for the exam, the pricing can be the same or different depending on how you study. Uh, Networking Academy is going to cost you a lot more money unless you get it paid for by like your school or your or like work organization. But if you're just doing self-study, I believe these two certifications will be about the same price. CCNA, you can get a lot of free uh, knowledge from like Jeremy's IT Lab, Network Chuck. There's a couple... Uh, people on YouTube that go through this whole course and you can learn from them and take the exam. Network Plus is very similar. There's also a lot of people on YouTube that have the full course. Along with that, Udemy has a couple good courses like Jason Dion's Network Plus course. That's a one that I would advise for people who want to pay like $20 to study for the Network Plus. Um, but if you're self-studying, I believe the costs are going to be about the same for studying. Now let's hop into the recognition for both of these exams. I'm just going to start off with this. Both exams are well-known and are recognized by employers all over the globe. So if you get either one, it's not like you're going you're gonna to get killed if you don't take one or the other. But the recognition is about the same as far as how many, many people know each exam. But there are some caveats. The CCNA is, a, is recognized as a harder exam by employers generally. Since um, employers around the globe, it's about 41% of companies use Cisco, 41%. So even if you're worried about vendor specific, taking the CCNA exam is still a good look because you're actually configuring networking equipment, getting that hands-on experience. A lot of times if you're doing vendor specific stuff, that can be easily translated to like Juniper, things like that. As, like, as long as you know how to configure it with one company, you could transfer that to another company. So that's some things, something that I think people get a little mixed up when they say Network Plus is better because it's vendor neutral. I disagree because if it's if you do a vendor specific exam where you're actually configuring uh, networking equipment, you could easily translate that to other uh, companies. The Network Plus is also a recognized job for basic um, networking. I would say this certification is more recognized for entry level jobs, for example, help desk and maybe system administrator roles. The Network Plus is just knowing general IT 
uh, networking concepts while the CCNA is actually configuring networking equipment. So I think the CCNA, if you're going to get, if you want to get into network engineering, the CCNA would probably be the way to go because you're actually getting that hands-on experience, but network plus just touches up on the basics. So like the help desk jobs where you're troubleshooting basic networking problems, but not directly, directly configuring networking equipment, the network plus is going to do you better if you're trying to get that entry level job. But also if you're trying to get an entry level job, the CCNA is also very impressive, even if you're getting a help desk job. Now let's hop into the meat and potatoes, the difficulty of each exam, because I know you guys are going to want to hear about how difficult each exam is compared to the other. I think objectively the CCNA is significantly harder than the network plus. Some people might disagree with me, but I'll argue all day that the CCNA is, is objectively harder than the Network Plus. Um, for a few simple reasons, let's just hop into how long the exams are. The CCNA is 120 minutes, two hours, uh, about 100 questions, and then you get uh, two to three lab questions. I'm not sure how it is now. I took this exam about a year ago, but um, I got two lab questions, which means they give you a network topology, and you have to directly configure like Cisco, uh, Cisco protocols, for example, SSH, ACLs, NAT, all kinds of all kinds of stuff that you have to configure on the exam. You have to directly type in the configurations and see if it works. So that is pretty hard for someone who is new to networking to do just out of the off the rip. So that is that part of the exam is pretty hard. But other than that, they have multiple choice, multiple answer and drag and drop questions along with the lab questions. So if you're taking the CCNA exam, be ready to get the lab questions saying, hey, you need to configure this, this, and this on this network, and you'll have to uh, configure it right then and there. Now, the Network Plus is up to 90 questions, and it's 90 minutes. Um, you get performance-based questions. I think it's about two to three performance-based questions. That could be sort of comparable to, to the lab questions, but the PBQs aren't going to have you configure networking equipment. They might just say, here's a topology, and this is a problem or something we need to do. How do we do it? And they'll give you multiple choice answers on how to do it or drag and drop. Like an example I'll give you is, let's say, oh, this computer can't ping the server. Why is this happening? And it'll give you um, a couple options like ping, trace route, things like that to troubleshoot the problem. And you have to say, okay, it is this. So it's not directly configuring, but it's troubleshooting with uh, guided steps, essentially. Now, as far as the difficulty, the Network Plus topics compared to the CCNA exam are mostly covered in the first course of the CCNA exam. It's broken down into three courses, Intro to Networking, Switching, Routing, Wireless Essentials, and Enterprise Networking, Security, and Automation. Those are the three courses for the Net Networking Academy CCNA. You don't have to actually take those, but that is how Cisco's Networking Academy breaks it down into each course. I think the Network Plus topics are pretty much all done in the first course of CCNA. Another thing that makes the CCNA more difficult is you have to actually apply the knowledge that you learn. So for example, you learn what SSH is in the Network Plus, but you not, might not learn how to configure it. But in the CCNA, they're going to teach you SSH and they're going to say, here's how to configure it. We're going to teach you Ether channels. Here's how to configure it. We're going to teach you VLANs. Here's how you configure it. So it is a lot of learning and applying, which I think for learning networking is so much better than learning the study for multiple choice tests and networking knowledge. While the Network Plus is awesome for learning the basics of networking, I think the configuration part of it, especially if you're getting into network engineering, is way more important. So all in all, the CCNA is objectively harder than the Network Plus. That is not to say that the Network Plus is not worth taking. If you're someone who is new to networking and you don't know if you want to get into network engineering, but you do want to learn the basics of networking, I think the Network Plus is obviously a good option for you because you don't have to get into the super duper detailed oriented uh, topics of networking where you have to actually configure it and troubleshoot it. We get to learn the basics of networking and how it actually works. So in conclusion, if you're a student trying to save money and you have like the student discount option, this Network Plus is a good place to start. If you're not sure you want to do the CCNA exam, I've heard people taking the Network Plus before the CCNA exam. I think that's a great idea if you don't know. Um, if you're if you're someone who's new to IT and you want to learn networking and you find out you actually like doing networking, take the Network Plus first. See what you see uh, how you do and how you like it. Um, if you do like that, then you can take the CCNA exam. I've heard of many people doing that. However, I would not say, I would not tell anyone to do the CCNA than the Network Plus because that is working pretty backwards in my opinion. If you can pass the CCNA, you can most definitely pass the Network Plus. But all in all, these are two great certifications that could uh, land you a, a entry level job, more specifically help desk jobs for Network Plus. You can also get help desk jobs with CCNA but more network engineering jobs would look more for the CCNA than the Network Plus. So all in all, these are both two good certifications. And yeah, like I said, join my Discord if you guys are interested in discussing networking, IT, anything, cybersecurity, 
anything it related join the discord down below so i'm trying to create a community of people we have about 50 people in there right now and we're growing over time once again thank you guys for over a thousand subscribers it means a lot to me i'm glad that you guys find these videos enjoyable thank you guys for watching this is james e. tech and i will see you guys next time Bye bye